And we're back. Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. Sequel to Uncharted, Drake's Fortune, a PS3 exclusive release back in 2007 that few knew about at the time. But thanks to incredible production values and general TLC put in by Naughty Dog, Sony soon bundled it with the system, touting it as a full engine tech demo, essentially. Now this franchise in general is kind of like a game Indiana Jones clone, the kind that Tomb Raider should have been, but it eh, wasn't really. It's also interesting to note that Indiana Jones itself was kind of an imitation of earlier classics that they were kind of almost mocking and paying homage to in the 80s. And get this, there's apparently a movie now in the works based on the Uncharted franchise, which means that that will be based on a game, based on movie series, based on movie series. We've done this before, and it's pure madness. Ugh, dude, just run away, he's not that fast. Anyways, this game, like most sequels, is essentially a revision and refinement. A lot of things that kind of bugged me with the first one are gone now. Biggest of all, who the fuck is shooting me syndrome is no longer the massive problem that it was in the first game. Shit, a lot of these jungle shootout stop and pop scenes could have just as easily been a fucking cry game. Melee is much better now. Right. You definitely feel like you're constantly pressing forward and never in one exact spot too long. In the first game, you had Jungle Cave. Now you get Snow War Zone Jungle Cave. You got your old characters, you got new characters. Damn, Sully, you gangster. I'm sweating like a hooker in church. You brought a hooker to church? Just like the first Uncharted, the cutscenes, while all very nice, are not overdone. <coughs> it definitely has a little bit of that last action hero self awareness. Here goes nothing. With almost comical moments of, where are we? Oh, hey, look, a giant temple. Shit! Aww. Puzzles, although fewer overall, are larger and less repetitive than the first. Much like the first game, climbing is a huge part of the experience. Essentially doing very inhuman things that Drake never seems to tire of. Till you reach those sphincter tightening moments that we all love! Oh man! Sphincter! So tight! So tight! Ah, sphincter! To call Drake a monkey would not be appropriate. Monkeys do not do this shit. Now the first game is very pretty. And what they've done here is just... Damn. I mean... Look at this. This makes my Wii cry. Alright, hold on, Grandpa. You heard me. What this game gets better than anyone ever, really, is... Epicness. The first game had its epic moments, but this takes that and blows it out of the water. Also, the last game had a few quick time events, this one doesn't really have any, which I applaud. Quick time events were cool for about a minute. You can make amazing epic things as long as we get to play it, which is what this game does. Then there's multiplayer. I don't really need to tell you much about it. If you don't like these kind of things, uh, it's probably not going to change. If you do like them, it's going to be really good and solid, so there you go. Alright, now, of course you know, with the good comes the bad, nobody's perfect. And like the first one, you'll avoid large installs with long load times. So, where you were used to this, get ready for this. Oh yeah. The first level, meant to teach you stealth, is a bit of a buzzkill for those looking to get to shooting within the first hour of play. Sure, you get the Indiana Jones-ish supernatural stuff, but the first one's monsters were thrown at you in generous numbers, whereas here, what little monster you get is few and far between. Also, personal pet peeve, Hello. don't hint at zombies if you're not going to have fucking zombies. These men were all shot. Get my hopes all up and shit. Also, with the advent of Google Maps, how the hell is any of this shit still uncharted? That's why Peter Jackson put Skull Island back in the 30s, like the original. So, you know, just something for the movie to think about. Also, why in these games and movies do they always have to look for a secret entrance to the secret tunnel through the magic puzzle doors to reach the other side? 
Take a helicopter over the fucking mountains, assholes. Or is that too, why didn't they fly the ring into Mount Doomy? Also, for the movie? Ultimately, my biggest complaint is that the climbing feels very pre-scripted. I don't really feel like I'm doing this. I kind of just feel like I'm filling in the blanks and the game's doing it for me, you know? If I want real true platforming in which everything I do is attributed to my own skill and hand-eye coordination, I'm gonna have to go here, or even here. And that's not to say the climbing segments are bad. They're entertaining and all, but I have no need to replay them. Oh man, I'm so tired of climbing shit. All in all, Uncharted 2 in no way reinvents a wheel, but what wheel is there is all pimped out and shiny. Okay, getting to be about that time. Let's give out an award. <laughs> Jessica Rabbit Award. Cause she's too beautiful to be real, and she's probably gonna be playing you as much as you're playing her, but hey, some buttons are worth pressing.